Hey guys, so this is uh, 4 20, 2024, around 9 a.m., Mr. Prime Numbers. Um, I was asleep and I saw a hooded dark figure sitting on my writing couch in my house. And I heard, you will be gone. Look closely. I looked at the hooded figure, and as I tried to make out his face, I saw the back of the hood, which was covered in a black Sherpa lamb's wool. I heard, his soul is void. That is why you can see through him. Then I heard the following words, Mr. Prime Numbers. Three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty three, twenty nine, thirty one. These numbers and combinations of them. This is the reason so many negative events occur on these dates. His own aim to worship him with death, fear, darkness, and evil on these days. This is also why I give you, Julie, so many positive, hopeful words given on these same days as the evil one brings curses, I bring mine hope. When he, Mr. Prime Numbers, rises to power, you, Julie, and all of the other anointed will be off of the earth. The Antichrist, so many souls in one shell of a man, his soul void of the ability to love, hope, and have joy or kindness. He will be the worst being to take power in the history of the world. He will be very deceptive. The false messiah and all of the kings of the earth will promote him. He will make promises. He will be on the world council that the kings make. He will be one of the ten kings of the earth. But he has not yet been seen in public. And he does not rule a country. In his first year of reigning with the other kings, he will destroy three of the kings and take over their people. He will become the ruler over all the other kings. They will fearfully obey anything he says to do. When he comes onto the stage initially, he will be seen as kind and helpful. But then as his true colors come out, he will be a terror. He will promise a good life with nice modern housing, clean water, abundant food, and an easy way of life. This will be an attraction. To those who have been through natural disasters, war, seen horrors, and are facing severe famine, at least an attraction to those who are not mine. They will soon know that their vote cast to bring him forth as world leader was a bad choice. Promises will fail. People will starve. The new world of promises will not occur. Just suffering and misery. Why? First, he is unable to be truthful for he is a child of the evil one. His shell of a body infilled with legions of demons that run him. Second, his plan is to starve the people and push them to the breaking point so that they willfully accept the mark of the beast. Promises will be that those with the mark of the beast will be the only ones allowed to have access to food, water, medicine, housing, energy, technology, etc. But this will also be a lie. He will provide this for a few to serve as an example to influence others into getting the mark of the beast. But the mark of the beast will not be compatible with humans. He will give them horrible boils and kill many with a slow, mysterious death. For humans are not created to be physically connected to technology. But each person will also be given pills to be taken that are said to help with the side effects and the effectiveness of the mark of the beast. These pills will actually be to keep people's psyche repressed so that they are more peaceful and more susceptible to obey as the technology is upgraded, similar to how people's phones are now updated while you sleep. The technology will become very strong and the mark of the beast will be able to fully control a person at will. The people will still have the free will to choose what food to eat and what tasks to do each day. They will be able to choose who to interact with and if to obey or not. Man's free will cannot be fully overridden. However, if they do not obey, they can be given immediate stimulus as a punishment or even killed instantly. But the technology when employed, the wearers can be commanded to obey blindly as if under a spell committing atrocities if told to kill they will kill 
with the obedience of a robot. If told to war, they will war. If told to obey, they will obey. Those people will also have no ability to find me. Once the choice is made to willfully worship the Antichrist and willfully take the mark of the beast to join his society, they will legally and with finality belong to the evil one for eternity, fated for hell and an eternity in the lake of fire, intended for the devil and his agents. The mark of the beast is a deep darkness warned about for generations, but no one has known what this would look like or how it will exactly function. But over time, each generation has known that it exists, even those who are not of me. Those that choose the mark of the beast will be given a warning before they do so. Those that still do this belong to the evil one willfully. Do not mourn for their wrath and judgment. This is just. My anointed, my obedient faithful, my faithful, my prodigals, my half-borns, my rebels turned hiders. None of these will be persuaded by the mark of the beast. None do for wrath and judgment. All will be safe. Have no concerns. Pray especially for those rebels that will be on the earth after the rapture. Pray today in sincerity that they are spared, that the darkness that comes awakens them, that their chains break, that their hearts soften, that the bright ones that spare them, their words will be heard, and that these rebels will turn fully to me. Pray they are fully persuaded that I am the I am, and Jesus is indeed the only way, truth, and life, the only Messiah, the only way to me, and that they accept him to lead, and follow through in obedience to be baptized, to obey my words, and to bring others, and to spare them from the gates of hell before the mark of the beast is decreed. Once the mark of the beast is decreed and people willfully come forward to receive it, my offer of grace and redemption will be closed forever. The full number of souls will be brought into my harvest barn, the final harvest, the latter harvest. Then heaven will rejoice for the first war. The war for the souls of man on earth will be won. Be warned. The man devoid of soul is to rise up. After the false messiah, the false messiah will promote him. Both are treacherous fools, lacking all wisdom. Instead, they are filled with deep and full levels of deception, darkness, and wickedness, and sealed with evil. They both will have been through many rounds of black magic and souls of evil placed within them. Everyone who is of me will be given a warning in their conscience they will sense these two are not right. All who listen to this warning and stay away from them will be protected. Hear my voice, listen to the Holy Spirit within you, the still small voice, the one to guide you. Stay clear of evil, these men. Do not partake in what they offer. Focus instead on worshiping me. Read my words in scripture. Aim at being Christ-like by obeying my son's words and behaviors with others. Pray in all faith and sincerity for your own protection and for the protection of others. Pray also for all who have not yet come to me in humility and full dependence. My prayer choir, as the world shows scary things, your prayers and praises will indeed change the outcome. Never underestimate the power of prayer. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty-five to 57 O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you find that interesting and encouraging, and I'll see you next time.